up, my friends, and welcome back to the Dragon Slayer. This is the Taoist Dragon of the Epic Peeps fam, but you can call me Toasty. Go ahead and put my controller down. And welcome to random quizzes. Yeah, you know what would be fun? Just going to BuzzFeed, our favorite website for finding quizzes, and just doing random quizzes. The first one I have pulled up is Eat Your Way Through the Campus Dining Hall. We'll tell you what your college major should be. What's for breakfast? None of these really, but scrambled eggs is the closest because omelets. Okay, what are you drinking? We got coffee, orange juice, water, smoothie, milk, and apple juice, water. I mean, if there was tea, bam, hands down, tea or water. That's what I usually drink, so. What are you eating for lunch? We have, uh, man. The grilled cheese, the Caesar salad, whatever. I don't like grilled cheese. I know I've been reading the choices before, but I'm not going to read all the choices because that's just not fun for anybody. <laughs> don't like grilled cheese, you know? I mean, I used to love grilled cheese, but now I just, I got sick eating it once and I can, I couldn't eat it for a while, but now I can tolerate it. But yeah, you know, Caesar salad's probably or the burrito, and to be honest with you guys, it would most likely be the burrito. Caesar salad, pretty healthy, especially if you do it like how I do it, where I don't have salad dressing or anything. But burrito's a bit more filling, it's got more to it. So, what side dish do I want? Uh, uh, side salad, because salads are healthy and uh, to everything else like french fries don't like french fries vegetable melody maybe but that's pretty much just a salad what's for dinner oh god i've been at the school all day <laughs> more pizza yeah you know what i'd probably go for that chicken pot pie i was going to say stir fry and i might but yeah let's be honest <laughs> what do you want for dessert mm, nothing I, I don't want dessert, I don't usually eat dessert, but if I was going to have to eat one of these, I would go with a soft served ice cream. I got that I should major in political science. You've always had an interest in government, and you love to be the person implementing policies one day. How did you get any of that from anything? I don't, I don't understand, because, well, you know what? I do have an interest in politics. Government whatever I have interest in government just because I have interest in like everything but politics is interesting to me because it's all about like playing your cards close to your chest and it's like this big game I want to say so in that way I both love and I hate politics because you know honesty isn't really there it's just about being like political so that's interesting but also like that's not me. So no, I'm actually going for chemistry as my major. Chemistry and education because it opens up doors for being a professor, high school teacher, or even going into medical doctor. All right, it's time to embrace my dark side, everybody, and end things off with spill my darkest secrets, and this quiz will reveal which Disney villain I am. <laughs> Oh, well, let's see. I don't know why I'm laughing. That wasn't funny. But have you ever stolen before? Yeah, I actually have. Like, only once. Yeah, because I was a kid. And I'm not sure if you guys know this toy. I'm not sure if it's still around. I think it is. I never think it was like a big deal. Well, I don't think it ever was a big deal. There, that's correct or English. But it's just a suction cup, right? You got the suction cup, you push it in, and after a few seconds, it bounces back up. My friend had one of those, and it was over his house. It was like a little itty bitty one, but it was like so much fun. I was like, wow, I just want to keep playing with this. So I took it with me. I felt so bad, and I like literally lost it the next day. Like I woke up and I didn't know where it was. So I vowed to like never steal because it just is a terrible thing. Have you ever crapped your pants? I'm not swearing. I, I might censor it on the screen or I may not. 
I don't swear, the things swear, whatever. Have you ever crapped your pants in your teenage or adult life? No, but I won't lie, it's gotten pretty close once or twice just because you can't use the bathroom and you have stuff going on and this is very gross, I know, but the question is gross, but I haven't. When was the last time you told a lie? I'm a very honest person, so I honestly say yes, I have lied. I think we all have. And you know what? I don't think never is an option. It isn't. You only got a day, a week, a month, or a year. I've probably lied not within the month, but within the last few months. So I guess that would be within the past year. Have you ever said mean things about a friend behind their back? This is an interesting question. I want to go with no. I would never say something about my friends or anybody about behind their back. And I've had distinct feelings of like, I don't like what I'm saying now because, you know, it's, the person's not there. I will say anything out to anybody that I would say to that person. That's a weird way of putting it. Pretty much I'm saying I don't say stuff that I wouldn't be afraid to say to the other person. I'm going to take this question to mean kind of like gossiping or like, oh, did you see what so-and-so was wearing? Or like, so-and-so failed this quiz? Or, oh my gosh, my friend is such a dummy or whatever. Or like mean-spirited things, not just saying things that could be considered mean because that's a much harder question to ask. It's a very personal thing. People are more sensitive to certain things than other things. For instance, you could say, oh, that person's fat. And, you know, somebody may not take offense to that. It's like, yeah, I've got some extra weight. Other people would be like, oh my gosh, this is the worst day of the world. And it's like, is that actually saying something mean about the person if they themselves wouldn't view it as mean? Uh, it's more like, do you say stuff that is intended to be nasty or whatever? Or say something that you wouldn't say to that person because you know it's like, ooh, that's not a good thing to be saying. And I don't do that. I'll never do that because that is not cool. Have you ever snooped through someone's phone without their knowledge? Not to my knowledge. I think I may have... <laughs> yeah, no. I've never snooped. I've definitely like looked over and seen like a text message or something or like my mom's phone will be going off alarm so I'll run over to turn it off. Whatever. But I have never snooped through somebody's phone. What is the kinkiest thing you've done in bed? <laughs> I haven't done a whole lot. I've only been in one relationship that was physical. And yeah, that was like an on again, off again thing. That wasn't exactly like burning with passion because it's my first, you know? <laughs> I'm still figuring things out and I'm a very low self-esteem person. I've been getting a lot better recently, but yeah, especially when I was in that relationship, I had like next to none self-esteem. So I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't trust that I'm doing things good. So none of that is good for any relationships. And love yourself, people. Because remember, you gotta love yourself first before you can actually love somebody else. Blah, blah, blah. You know, PSA stuff. It's important PSA stuff, but you've heard it like a million times. I've done role-playing. Have you ever eavesdropped on a private conversation? Yes, but it's not intentional. For the most part, I just catch myself to it. I'm like, oh, I should stop listening. It's just, you know, people are talking in public. And the next thing you know, it's like, oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Have you ever farted and denied it? I am the kind of person that says, excuse me, even if it wasn't loud enough to be heard. <laughs> but I have definitely farted and then not said anything if it was brought up. Yes, I accepted it. And that did happen to me in high school, where all oh, was loud and it smelled terrible. I want to go with, I farted and told everyone, I have not done the last one. I farted and denied it, but never put the blame on somebody else. Yeah, I've never done that. And finally, did you lie at all on this quiz? 
No, I was honest. And I am Gaston. You smug little hottie. <laughs> Wait, a smug little hottie has no time for reading. You're absolutely Gaston. Now share this quiz with a friend. You promise not to spill your secrets. That, that's it? Fear Dark? Don't know how what I answered may be that. I, I mean, nothing I said had to do with reading, but whatever. Okay, we're going to end this here. That took me a long time to do the second one. It was fun, though. See, these quizzes are kind of like garbage, but they're fun garbage, and I like doing them. Let me know if you guys like doing them. And if you guys do either one of these quizzes, let me know what you got. And I hope you've enjoyed this bit of the Dragon's Treasure. And a like is a mic and drop it. If you haven't already, I appreciate if you share that sub and bell button some love. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Stay beautiful.